Hello, I'm Robin Roberts, Program Director for the Wise Woman Program. Welcome to the initial program training, Video 1, where we're going to give you an introduction to the Wise Woman Program. The training goals that we're looking at are to, for you to develop an understanding of how to implement the Wise Woman Program, how to do it at your local agency. We have three different trainings that we do to help that. The first one is an initial training that happens for everybody. That's what you're seeing now. It's a series of videos that we are about five to ten minutes each and then you have the opportunity to do those on your own and you don't have to watch them all at the same time. You can watch them when you're ready. Uh, but we ask that you do those videos before you do the Community Navigator training. That training is for the community navigators and health coaches. These are the folks who are going to be working with the Wise Woman clients. And that is a live webinar that I will be doing along with Vicki Lorraine. Uh, Vicki is our navigation specialist and uh, she'll be uh, talking a lot about motivational interviewing and we'll just be going back and forth and you have the opportunity to, to, to interact with us more and also to ask questions. Then finally we do a follow-up training for community navigators. So this is something that Vicki would do. It takes place about six to eight weeks after the community navigator training. It gives you an opportunity to work with some of the women and then you get back together and she's able to talk you through uh, some of the issues that you may have run across as you were uh, working with the women. So this video series, what we're looking at you to learn, uh, by the end of the series you're going to be able to um, communicate an understanding of the Wise Woman program so you'll know, you know a little bit about what it is, what it does. You'll be able to describe the components of the risk factor screening. You'll be able to discuss the criteria and requirements for case management. And we're going to do all of these in separate videos and actually the risk factor screening is something that's going to be split into a couple of videos. So first of all, let's uh, look at what is Wise Woman. So the Wise Woman program provides chronic disease risk factor screening for all women that are in the program. We also provide health coaching to women who are ready to make healthy changes. Because the making healthy changes can delay or and sometimes even prevent the onset of chronic diseases like diabetes and cardiovascular disease. And so it's very important to, um, to try and delay those or, or prevent them. To be in the Wise Woman program, you have to be part of the Michigan Breast and Cervical Cancer Control Navigation Program, also called the BCCCNP. And the program provides mammograms, pap smears, clinical breast exams, pelvic exams, all of those are breast and cervical cancer screening services. Women that uh, have insurance um, are able to get help finding breast and cervical services. The insurance will pay for the services, but uh, they're part of the breast and cervical services because of the navigation. Also the follow-up diagnostic services for women who are either in the program or who have insurance but uh, are not able to afford any diagnostic services that they need when something abnormal is found on a mammogram or, or a pap smear. So that's the breast and cervical program and that's where if a woman is eligible for that program and is part of that program then she can be part of the Wise Woman program. So our funding comes from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, also known as CDC. And that's where we get most of our funding. We do have some state funding, but for the majority of it does come from CDC. So that's what the program is. Where is the program? So right now, in 2016, we are in, um, let's see, we have eight agencies. We're in 23 counties. And as you can see, it's mostly in rural Michigan. We have a lot of presence in rural Michigan. But we do have some small programs in Grand Rapids, in Saginaw and in Detroit and soon we'll be up and running in Lansing and Ypsilanti. So we do have uh, some presence in urban areas and we would like to expand to some more urban areas. The program has three primary focus areas. Uh, the first one is to identify a woman's risk factors <clears throat> and just to let her know what they are. We do this a couple of ways. We identify the risk factors through the, the screening and uh, then we talk to her about them using our risk reduction counseling, and that's one of the things that makes Wise Woman unique. We have the My Health Information, which is a, uh, a pamphlet that lists out all of her risk factors, and it helps her understand uh, what her risk factors are. 
The second primary focus uh, area we have is to encourage healthy lifestyles. Um, we do that through our, uh, our health coaching and through community navigation. So if a woman's ready to make changes, we'll provide her with the health coaching, we'll, give her, uh, we'll navigate her to community resources, we'll refer her to different lifestyle programs, and there are even a couple of the lifestyle programs that we can pay for, um, but it's if she's ready. And then the final focus area is to address health equity and social justice. Because the women we serve are at the low end of the socioeconomic ladder, helping them to get up the ladder, even just a little bit, will help them to be more healthy. And one of the ways we do this is through our, our entrepreneurial gardening pro, uh, project. The <clears throat> photos you see here are from that. There's a couple of women, several women who are involved in the project. And we provide uh, some funds for them to purchase uh, startup supplies that they need. We provide them with the training to do the gardening, provide them with nutrition training, and then they're able to actually get started and um, they grow um, fruits and vegetables for themselves, for their family, and then they grow extra that they can sell at a roadside stand or a farmer's market, and that helps them out uh, tremendously. We've, we've had a lot of really good success with this program. Okay, so this video is at an end. Let's give a summary of what we've talked about. So Wise Woman is a public health program for Michigan women. We're in 23 counties around the, st the state. And our primary focus areas are to identify and communicate chronic disease risk factors, encourage healthy lifestyle choices, and address the health equity and social justice. So the next video will be Chronic Disease Risk Factor Screening Part 1. We'll be talking about the informed consent. We'll be talking about the Wise Woman Health Intake questions. And I look forward to talking to you then. Thank you.